Hi everybody, today is Thursday, August 6th. We are about six weeks out from Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the 10 days of awe that lie ahead. And we at Temple Judea have been working very hard to create some meaningful and interesting opportunities for you to engage with worship and with the community over those days of awe. So I look forward to sharing those with you very soon. It's gonna be very different from any holy days you've experienced before. It is going to all be online and uh, You'll see, I hope, and find them meaningful and we hope important moments for you and for your family. It's also the beginning of school coming up right around the corner here in Miami, albeit mostly virtual. And it occurs to me that it's important for us to keep our perspective in check. We have to remember that although there are big challenges ahead for all of us on so many different levels, those challenges can also truly be opportunities, opportunities for creativity, opportunities for growth and learning. And even this whole summer, although it's been completely different than what any of us would have imagined, it has afforded us some different kinds of new opportunities for learning and growth. So I wanna share with you a poem. It's written by my colleague, Rabbi Karen Kadar, and she writes this poem called Perspective. And it reminds us that especially for us right now, our perspective is so important and we have control over the perspective that we choose to take in these difficult moments. So I share with you her words this morning. As you travel a path toward a goal, a goal you dream worthy and essential, and you suddenly hit a wall. What you do next depends on your perspective. The wall is a challenge and you climb. The wall is a failure and you dig a hole and crawl beneath. The wall is an obstacle, you bang your head. Or upon the wall, there is a sign which beckons you to detour. You turn, you turn your head sharply to the left and go another way. Perspective is the eyesight of your mind. It is how you choose to look at the world, events, and possibilities. I have seen lives transformed when people make the choice to see things a different way. So on this Thursday, I hope you can choose to see things a different way, a way that is positive and open, filled with opportunity for growth, learning, and strength. I hope you have a great day, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Drive by Temple Judea later today or tomorrow and pick up your Havdalah bag so you can join us for Havdalah on Saturday night. See you then. Bye.